Missouri's governor says he plans to do everything he can to keep the Kansas City Chiefs in Missouri within reason. But he may need to act fast. Take a look at this. Kansas lawmakers will soon discuss a bill to create this new stadium to lure the team across the state line. Joe McLean has the latest from Governor Parson about his plan of action and some of those running to succeed him. So this is big business and we've got to look at it that way. We've got to make sure that this is good for the people of the state of Missouri. Governor Parson doesn't hide his fandom of the Kansas City Chiefs. The 57th governor even got a tattoo in the shape of Missouri with the team's red and gold colors. But he said when it comes to talks about the Chiefs' possible relocation, that's about another color, green. We, we know it has the impact on the economy it has. Uh, and we know that's for many years to come. While some lawmakers are urging the governor to call a special session to answer any legislation attempted by our Western neighbors, Parson says he doesn't think we're at that point yet. Well, we'll see what Kansas does if they do anything. I'm not sure they're going to do anything yet. You had the governor come out and say that he thought, that she thought financially they weren't in very good shape, so that wasn't a very good signal to send out. Parson's final term in office ends in January. Candidates running to succeed him are already speaking up on Missouri's next steps. Lieutenant Governor Mike Kehoe's campaign released a statement saying, in part, quote, Missourians deserve a governor who will fight for jobs and economic growth while protecting taxpayers. Unlike his opponents, Mike Kehoe will not watch passively as other states poach our businesses. Meanwhile, State Senator Bill Eigel said he thinks the Chiefs will decide to stay in Missouri, but says, quote, it won't be because of taxpayer handouts for sports teams or stadiums on my watch. Government shouldn't be in the business of picking winners and losers. On the Democratic side, House Minority Leader Crystal Quaid said she wants to see reasonable state investment to retain the team, saying, quote, we need to elect leaders who will work with the Chiefs to make sure all sides get a fair deal and keep our Super Bowl champs playing football in Missouri for decades to come. And Springfield businessman Mike Hamra, also running as a Democrat, says, quote, Missourians take pride in being the home of the Chiefs. State leaders should explore every reasonable option to keep the Chiefs in Missouri. We also reached out to Republican Secretary of State Jay Ashcroft. We'll let you know when we hear back. In Jefferson City, Joe McLean, KY3 News.